Jerry, how excited are you about having another crack at winning the Gnoll Mall after last year's frustrations? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Keep my fingers crossed. I think the horse is in good order and, yeah, we'll, we'll see how we go. Last year, I mean, coming second, but did that, that, that unfinished business this year potentially? Yeah, I think it is unfinished business. I wasn't, you know, I felt this time last year, um, if I stood here this time last year, I felt from that draw we had absolutely no chance and the horse ran an incredible race to be second. Um, I felt walking away from it, I'd, I had the best horse in the race and um, had come up just short of getting the job done. Um, you know, we're back here, yeah, you know, want to get it done. Um, you know, just got a little issue, you know, we're coming back off a setback. Um, you know, our, our build up to the race has been a little bit abbreviated. Um, would be a slight concern in my mind, but all the signs from the horse are that he's in really top, top form. So keep my fingers crossed. You're a competitive creature, so presumably that's why that sort of burns deep within you to try and make sure you can win this race now almost. Uh, yeah, look, you know, we're all competitive. We're, we're, we're here to compete and we're here, we, you know, our horses are our, you know, tools to go and compete. But, you know, Paul Roy, Sue Roy, his wife, you know, after last year, you know, we were keen to give, have an opportunity to come back here and give it a go. We're here. Um, you know, it's a. You know, I have a lot of respect for Marking. You know, I think he's a. You know, he's a good horse. He's got great, great form on the on the dirt. Um, but you know, this horse, if if I've got him where I, I believe I have. You know, he's he's going to run. He's going to run a huge race. Brilliant. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Take care. Tough question. But <laughs>